Narcissists and the truth go together kind of like oil and water. Narcissists notoriously do not take responsibility for their bad behavior. Also really, really good at justifying their bad behavior. So instead of taking responsibility, instead of saying, yes, I shouldn't have done that, they might say something like, I did that because of this. And to some people, it can even come across as a really good explanation. Somebody who doesn't have the whole story might hear the justification because they're really good at justifying things. When you have a lot to hide, it's difficult not to lie. You need to lie to keep those secrets, to keep those skeletons in the closet. Even when they aren't outright lying to you, they might be omitting large chunks of information that would be really helpful for you to know. But a narcissist probably isn't going to volunteer that information if it's going to stand in the way of them getting what they want. Omitting the information doesn't mean they're being honest. They are not being honest. I believe that's what they call lies of omission. And they're very, very popular among narcissists. Narcissists are masters of deception and emotional manipulation. And this is why so many narcissists gravitate towards generous, kind-hearted people. They have a way of using your own good nature against you. They expect the people around them to just do what they say and meet their every need, or else they'll lash out and throw a tantrum. They can manipulate people to fulfill their own needs without regard for the consequences that their actions may have on others. You have a friend who doesn't care about your opinions or your feelings. Because narcissists think about themselves and only themselves, they lack the ability to feel empathy for others or remorse about their own wrongdoings. Narcissism and empathy don't go hand in hand. Narcissists are unwilling to see the world from the perspective of others. As a result, they're able to exploit others without any feeling of remorse. Their perception leads them to believe what you have to say isn't important, so they blank it out. Rather than actively listening and integrating in discussions, they treat all conversations as a platform to present their ideas only, which they think are the only ideas worth listening to. They try to be dismissive about the other person to show that they don't really even care about them. And if that doesn't work, they resort to personal attacks. They need constant admiration. The delusion of always being entitled to admiration is why people around them often find themselves emotionally drained. To them, there's no greater rush than being put on a pedestal and worshipped by their fans and followers. They think they're superior to others around them and believe themselves to be infallible. They react poorly maybe yelling, throwing a tantrum, or with another unreasonable response when they perceive what you've said might be criticism. The narcissist perceives every disagreement, let alone criticism, as nothing short of a threat. He therefore reacts defensively. He becomes indignant, aggressive, and cold. He detaches emotionally for fear of yet another narcissistic injury. He devalues the person who had made the disparaging remark, the critical comment, the unflattering observation, the innocuous joke at the narcissist's expense. Did anyone in particular come to mind? 